This is the way we crack our eggs, crack our eggs, crack our eggs. Hi. Howdy. Good to see you. It sure is. But I wish you would dress up a little more when you watch this show. I mean, oh you'll heavens. give us a bad reputation. Look at that. Ooh wee. Mm. I haven't seen shoes like that since back in the 50s. Well, Dr. Johnson, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I've never been better. Well, that, uh, that's a lie. <laughs> but That anyway. is a big, fat lie. Well, that's okay. He, he's all right. But we're here but to have a good time, I and we will. I think you've been better yes, and last I Saturday night, from been. what I hear. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyway. Spousal abuse? No, no, nothing <laughs> like that. I just fell. Oh, uh, no. I fell and I couldn't get well, up. Well, I've heard about but that. But anyway. Well, anyway. It's okay. Yeah, what are we doing today? Uh, Where is the witch? Uh, uh, let's search get the sky for in. an answer. Ooh, she bit me on the thumb. You witch. Oh. Here, take that She's letter. frothing a little bit from the mouth. I believe <laughs> well, she has rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, so, you better go get your shots. Dear guys. Can you come up with a show with breakfast recipes that can get my husband up and out of bed? He sleeps all the time, and I'm tired <laughs> of it. Thanks. I... Christine Van Winkle <laughs> of Sleepy Hollow, New York. Well, how about that? Yes, well, the Christine. The Van Winkles. Yeah, very yeah. Very famous family. We'll do a breakfast recipe for you. Yes, we will. We we'll certainly will. We'll do a couple of three of them. For the Van Winkle family. Yes. Let's see. What I'm, I'm going to do Eggs Goldenrod that was sent in by J.B. Clayton from Rocky Mount, Virginia, the moonshine capital of the world. I'm going to do homemade cheese Danish, mm. and they sure are good. And uh, the very lovely Miss uh, Doris. Doris is coming in to do some monkey shines with the monkey cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell her. She's to... swinging in from the rafters. Oh, look at it's that. It's true. She tell is her to get that anthropod there. off that cake and. <laughs> get that anthropod off that. What does it mean? Anyway, so. Uh, well, I, I had to, to boil and I'm peeling six eggs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show everybody how to do this recipe two different ways. We're going to do it the way it was sent in and then we're going to do a heart healthy version. Well, I'm just so proud of it. I am too. Oh. I, I just didn't know I had it in me, but I did. Besides, I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that it? Yeah, all I need I to do, to do is something? I got six boiled eggs and I got to um, just kind of peel them and make sure they don't have any shells on them so they'll crack your teeth. Well, the first thing you have to do on the Danish, this is a real simple recipe and it's real nice too, is to heat your oven to 350 hot degrees. The next thing you do is you go shopping to make sure you got all the right ingredients for this, <laughs> for this show. And uh, then the next thing you do when you don't is call Doris and she'll go do it all for you. And that's what we did on today's show. I prepared, for the first time in 16 years, I prepared the wrong show. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I've done this recipe before, one time before. This calls for a package, 16 ounce package of cream cheese softened and it's very important that you leave it out for a while because you're going to have to mix this stuff and you want it to get real soft. Well, we could not find a 16 ounce package so we have two 8 ounce packages so it starts out with two of those and soften that stuff up real good. See, normally if I'd have had the proper recipe for today's show, this would have been laying out in the car all day and just be real soft. <laughs> The next thing you do is put in an egg separated. So we're going to separate an egg because I tell you what, we're going to use. Where is that high priced egg separator? Well, I did a did. terrible job on that egg. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I could have used. Well, I remember when you used to just take your bare hands and do uh -huh. it, Johnson. It wasn't a pretty sight. No. Now it wasn't. you use the yolk. <laughs> Excellent camera work. Use the yolk. And hold on to the egg whites because we're going to take the egg whites later on and we're going to slather it all over this stuff and, and give, give it a nice little, uh, what do they call it, uh, thang uh, on it. A touch to it. <laughs> a glaze. Love that stuff. A glaze, a real nice glaze. <laughs> Next thing you do is a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. Boom. And... And a teaspoon, uh, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and I have, you know, we have this year the the, the lemons are kind of hard here in Virginia. They're sort of plasticky, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> they come with little lids on. 
Well, sometimes I don't know why, but sometimes it's just better to do it this way. So put a little well, it is. In there, a little extra squirt for baby. Well, you started that on me a couple of weeks ago. I know. And I had forgotten that phrase <laughs> since I was a kid. And well, I'll for tell baby, you, And I've been laughing about that, and I've been using the term over and over My again. good friend, Richard Thomas, the owner of the World of Mirth Carnival, mm -hmm. and little Richard's uh, <laughs> concessions all over the United States, look for them, wonderful food. Little Richard always has on his concession trailers on the carnival, take some home for baby. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a wonderful, wonderful Well, does, I just want to know, does Richard Thomas still have that mold? No, no, the, no, no. This is the oh, this little is short, a, heavy set Richard. Richard talks Thomas. like this. Hi, Mr. John Tucker, to see you. And smokes a cigar. <laughs> wonderful man, though. Uh, Look for him and tell him I said hi if you see him. And a tablespoon of flour. Is that a pre-measured tablespoon of flour? Well, we've gotten real fancy on the show now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're in high cotton these days. And now what you have to do is mix that with a mix-up. So that's what I'm going to do for a little while, so just hang in there until I get it done. It All doesn't right. look too good. Well, it, it's fine. Now, I've got in my pan over here a half a stick of margarine, and we're going to make a roux, and you remember that's the equal parts, that's four tablespoons of margarine and four tablespoons of flour. and. We're going to cook it a little bit, so as soon as that starts heat, heating up a little, Ooh. and it's beginning to melt, this mixer how are you doing with your mixer? Well, the mixer smells like it's burning up. I don't know what it is. There's something about this mixer. I believe we're taxing this mixer mightily, ladies and gentlemen, well, but I think it'll be all right. Don't get concerned about it. It's okay. My margarine is, seems to me to be taking an inordinate now, that amount of time See that? to heat really? up. That makes a very, very nice, look at that. It's the very lovely Stiff Peaks that you've read so yeah. much about. You remember Stiff Peaks? Lived down there with his wife, Thelma. Well, this mar this. Well, after he died, she became the widow's peaks. The widow peaks. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Anyway. Right out about that. <laughs> Same joke, different day, right. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, well, this margarine is slow, but it's getting there. You can't start the roux until it's completely done. Well, do you want me going ahead and nope, start yeah. playing with a croissant roll? Well, you can, but all I'm going to do is add four tablespoons of flour to this and cook it a little while so the flour loses its raw taste, and then we'll be ready to add some milk. and make. We're, we're just making a simple white sauce, real easy. Those of you that say you can't make gravy, there's nothing to it. Half half fat, half flour. So, Larry, you go on while I'm... Just get yourself an old pack of crescent rolls. I wonder why they call them don't roll. Oh, and it just will explode just instantly. And what you have to do now is separate these little bad boys out. Excuse me, bad girls. Out. <laughs> and, uh, well, sometimes you can't tell till you get them out of the package. <laughs> so, anyway. Separate those out. These are a little, I'm afraid to say that these have still not gotten, you ought to keep them firm in the refrigerator. And these have been sitting in Doris's car for a couple of days. <laughs> How long have they been in your car, Doris? An hour. An hour. You know, have you noticed that Doris has been here so long now in the South that she talks kind of like we do? Uh -huh. She says it's been there an hour. An hour and ever. And, uh, I'm, I, you know, these have little, what do they call these things? But I'm using a knife because this stuff is so soft. Now, what you, I have discovered that it's best if you kind of flatten these out a little bit, but I just know this is going to cause some problems because you need for them to be kind of thinned out just a little, a little bit bigger than they normally are. See that? Now, what you do is take just a little gob of this stuff, not a lot, and put it right in the center. You don't want to overdo it because it'll just come right out. There we go. And then you kind of just fold this over and seal it up real good. And then you put it upside down on an ungreased pan. I hope it's ungreased, is it? It's ungreased. Okay. But if you smash them out a little bit, it gives you just a little bit more time. Uh, not time. It gives room. you a little more room. <laughs> doesn't give you any more time at all. 
Actually, Ladies and gentlemen, we're having a hard time. <laughs> it takes up a little more You'd time. You'd think we'd never done this before. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I haven't been focused all day. I, I just don't know what it is, but I haven't been focused all day. I was uh, sitting at my office today waiting for a luncheon appointment and, and realized 10 minutes into it that there was a distinct possibility I was supposed to meet them at the restaurant. And lo and behold, I was. <laughs> so anyway, you just keep doing that. You know that works out so much better when you roll them out because it gives you a lot more space to put stuff in. They don't look real pretty when you roll them out, but they do work real good. Looks like something you ran over on the road, doesn't Doris, it? Doris, you know, I used to have a whisk over here in this thing, but I don't seem to have it anymore. Well, we have had to take your whisk away from oh, you. We, we thought you were getting dangerous. But I need it. my whisker. All right. Here she comes. Anyway, keep doing that to you use up all of the stuff. I have discovered that this makes, for some reason, why Doris doesn't know and I don't know, this seems to make a lot more of this stuff than you really do need for a package of this. And I don't know why that is, but it is. And there's just not much you can do about it. What you may want to do is take that cream cheese and give it to somebody that needs it real bad. Uh. Give it to the needy. Give it to somebody, I don't know who. What else could you do with cream cheese? What? Oh, you use three packages, she said. And you know, you're right. It probably would take a couple more packages. All right. Well, I've got my, I've added, Larry, uh, two cups of skim milk. Now, you could use whole milk, but I'm trying to watch out for the any more fat than we absolutely need. So I'm using skim milk. And while this cooks a little bit and gets thick, uh, Doris is going to get me the grater, which I have to have to grate my eggs with, and I'm going to grate the whites of these eggs, not the yolks, just the whites. We're going to save the yolks for another time. Do you remember that old thing? Toots used to do a thing. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, mm -hmm. his wife could eat no lean. Yep. And when they, he left the table, he licked the platter, platter. plate, mm -hmm. something like that. Yes, we used to say that. What's it mean? Well, you know, some people can Just have stuff. Just one of those silly things, I some guess. Some can't, and you know, this kind of stuff I'm not allowed to have anymore. Does this mean that you won't be tasting any of it on the program? Oh, no, no, because I'm doing <laughs> it, I, I'm going to do myself some oh, that that's, won't hurt you. Now, the whites, it's these yellows that will kill you. The yolks, <laughs> the whites won't. The whites are okay for you. They don't hurt you. But the now, I tell this story all the time of old gentlemen, salesmen, used to come in the Waffle House every morning by the name of Old Ed. I won't tell you his last name, but Ed would come in every morning and he would religiously, he would order egg whites uh, done very lightly and toast with no butter. And, mm. uh, Boy, you know, look, good, looking huh? so that he was taking care of his heart, Ed died of cancer. Oh. And I couldn't help but think, you know, Ed, you could have enjoyed all that stuff all <laughs> that time. Well, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. Now, you, you're going to grate on the large side these egg whites and just grate them right up and down into your bowl. And I'm doing that while Larry is. Well, doing I'm finishing the up the last of this, and I'm going to show you the next exciting installment. <laughs> you have quite well, a bit I'm of this left, so you can yeah. buy a few more of these crescent rolls. Now, what you do is you take your egg whites now. Do what? What, to beat them? Do you have to beat the egg whites? Well, I didn't know that. Should you add a little water to it? No water touch. She says that it spreads better if uh -huh. you do this. Well, I guess you're right because it kind of breaks up a little bit. Is that enough? <laughs> we'll have to, we have a lot of time to fill. <laughs> Maybe five more minutes right uh -huh. now. We've got to bring you in here in a little bit. That'll be good for 20 minutes. Now, all you do is just spread this over the top before you put it in. Now, your oven is heating up at 350 wonderful degrees. And just take a little of this and spread it over the top of each one. That'll put a nice glacé on each one, a little glaze. There you go. And once again, one egg white's enough to do a couple more crescent rolls anyway. So you may as well just go ahead and buy some extra crescent rolls. And you know, you never outgrow your need for crescent rolls. So if you have some left, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. That's it. There's one for baby. 
and the staff. Uh huh. Well, I, I'm still. Are we ready to bring in Miss Doris? Can we bring uh, Miss Doris? Let me in? check or, just a second. Or here. should I give my recipe? Why or don't you give or your recipe? should I do something else? Or yeah, I'm going to give my give recipe. recipe. I'm going to give my recipe. Here's what it calls for. A homemade cheese Danish sent in by Joseph Windish of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where hot as a pistol in Philly. Now the, you know, well, never mind. It's a package of cream cheese, 16 ounces, an egg separated, a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of flour, and two packages of crescent rolls. We only made one today because honestly, it just was going to take too long. But anyway, that's that. And that's just all there is, is to that, it. Is that it? That's, that's it. all there is At 350 degrees well, for 20 minutes. Watch it because they will burn very quickly. You have to kind of watch them. If your let me a little hot. finish this egg white here and add it, and then we can call in the lovely Doris. All right. We can call her anything we want to. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now, I've added the, all these collect. six whites that have been grated. Oh, they're all over me. Mm. Goodness just gracious. Just terrible. It's a pox. All right. To this white sauce, and then... Just kind of let it relax, and we're going to add some salt and pepper, if we had any. <laughs> salt and pepper. Uh huh. Come to supper. All right, and I'm not going to put any salt in it because I don't need it. So somebody accused me in a club the other night of using too much salt on the air. Mm. You know, people have yeah. opinions. Opinions well, are do. like I put in about a quarter teaspoon people, of pepper. A lot of them. Now there it is, and I'm just going to turn it down to low, and mash these uh, yolks for decor, so bring Doris in and let her do whatever it is she needs to do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Doris Ford and her put monkey it. cake. <laughs> well, if you put it there, we can't see. Let me we get some of my there. junk. Here, put it here and I'll get my junk out of the way. Okay, this, uh, Tell us about this monkey, monkey cake. Monkey cake sent in by Mrs. Claire Lubold from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. And uh, what, what you do is you take four eight ounce cans of biscuits, uh, the instant biscuits. Do not use buttermilk. I tried it, forgot, and they fell apart. So you have to use just plain old biscuits. And two thirds a cup of sugar, two, table, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one and a half sticks margarine, one cup of sugar, and raisins or nuts. And you cut the biscuits up in four pieces, shake them up in the, uh, cinnamon sugar and put half of it and then you, you make a syrup. Well look this looks, how did you get this, this sugary look well, on you, the outside? Well you, you take the cinnamon sugar, you know you make cinnamon sugar, you take the cinnamon and the sugar and mix it up and put uh, it in a bag and then cut these in fourths, shake it up mm -hmm. and put the, half of it down and then the syrup. Well I was a little rushed this morning and I guess I didn't cook my syrup enough so make sure when you're cooking your butter and your sugar that it's dissolved the sugar and keep Otherwise it warm. Otherwise you get this little mess and see, here. And it runs all over. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep it warm. I found that out because I was I, I took it off while I was making it and it crystallized too much. You have to sort of keep it warm and flowing, you might say. Then you put the raisins, do another layer, and then put another layer of the sugar and cinnamon on it. Hmm. And hopefully it'll be good. Last time it was. <laughs> it worked out good. Now what's this, a chimpanzee <laughs> cake or what is this called? Monkey cake. Sent in by Mrs. Claire yeah. Lubold of mm -hmm. Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. And uh, you said that we were very popular up in Pennsylvania. I was up in New Jersey this past weekend and was recognized. And they like threw this. eggs so, at her. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so that they, the people up here do, up there do watch this show and I'll say hi to everybody in Pennsylvania and New Jersey that do watch us. Well, bless and we heart. appreciate them, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> we love them. We love, love them all, them every one of them. Thank you and thank you for that lovely monkey cake. Well, Larry, while you were By the way, indoors. look at these. I, I have taken these just fresh out of the oven months oh, ago. Oh, they're gorgeous. <laughs> and they really are pretty, aren't they? Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just lovely. Mm -hmm. Worked myself into a frenzy doing them. A, a hissy fit. Now, All what right. you got? Well, I'm toasting some bread, and we probably could do more, but our toaster is slow like everything else around here. And at the same time, I'm over here in the oven, the microwave, microwaving some egg substitute. And I just put it in a measuring cup, and let's see what's happened to it. Well, it's not quite ready. <laughs> let's anything. put a little more time on it here. Perhaps if he turned it on, it would help. Well, no, it's almost ready, but I'm gonna use that. Now, as soon as our toast, toast, 
We're going to put it over here on the platter. Toast, toast. Mm -hmm. Toast, toast. And then we're going to put this uh, eggs, look at it, in there. what a wonderful shot, right down on it there. And that's just terrific. In our toaster, that is a slow toaster though. You don't uh, see many overhead gonna, toaster shots no, like I know. that. I can't ever remember seeing one, not even on Not on Letterman or anything. No, shows. that's mm -hmm. right. No. no, indeed. That's a first right Well, here. now, let's see. Yeah. Check it for you so you let's won't run yourself to death. Well, it's... Yep, that'll do. Yeah, That's it's fine. sort of fluffed up real Yeah, it good. does like an omelet. I don't know whether you knew this or not, but my cousin Bobby... Bobby Why does Lou, it do that? It, well, it's this way it eggs do. It puffs up. It puffs up, and I'm going to take it out of there as soon as our toast is finished. I can't believe this toaster is taking this long on the Well, toast. it looks to me like it's burning. Well, how do we get it out? Just pull it up. Pull it up. It'll come up. <laughs> it's burning. Let oh, me disconnect it. it. <laughs> Let me disconnect it. Well, see if you can get it. Turn it upside down and dump it out. There. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it's perfect. And none too soon. Right. <laughs> it was just right, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're going to... And it still hasn't let the thing come up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put some of this egg... People have just seen how you handle a, a bad situation. <laughs> You just handle you the just handle it. put the egg stuff on there, and now on Larry's, I'm going to sprinkle onto it. Oh, the, thank the you. grated egg yolk. So I can have the heart attack. That's right. And now I'm going to. <laughs> He's so well, sweet. if I can get it out. <laughs> here. It's like a big piece of rubber. No, it's an omelet. I've never yeah. seen nothing. But like I'm going to chop this some of this egg beater up and use it on mine. See that that will work just fine. Of course, Doris gave me a steak knife instead of a <laughs> regular knife today. Well, it's been one of those days. Doris has had her hard time today, she too. She has. Well, you know, I read in the paper this morning that if you smell, if you smell nice, <laughs> you should be nice that. to you. Well, don't, I put some body powder on. Don't I smell nice? You guys shouldn't be yelling at me. Shower to shower, <laughs> I would say. What, it is, it, is it expensive stuff? Yes. Yeah. So you're not supposed to be yelling at me today, according to that paper labor. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I won't anymore. All right, well, that's all I have to do. Well, that's the greatest of plenty, and, I would say. I, it. Oh, that didn't give the recipe. All right, the recipe requires the <laughs> use of six hard-boiled eggs, uh, four tablespoons of flour, four of margarine, a teaspoon of salt if you want it, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, two cups of milk, and that's it, and some toast. Well, I'm bringing my salt with me. I'm going to bring I just don't think there's enough salt on this recipe. And my heart's been thoroughly recently checked out due to heart catheterization, and I'm good for at least a couple more of these shakers. <laughs> well, Doris didn't give us a flipper either. So. Oh, my heavens. She has totally left us out of the loop. Well, here have one of these fine Danish. And the monkey cake, of course, you help yourself to. You just pinch it off. That's the great thing about monkey cake. Mmm. Good monkey cake. Mm hmm. Excellent. I'm going to put a little more pepper on mine also. I like lots of pepper. Well, let me try this stuff. What is this egg gravy? No, it's called Eggs <laughs> Golden Rod. Mmm. That's yummy stuff. Mm hmm. I'm going to get rid of the salt. It's got a good flavor to it. It really does. You know, I think you've caught on to how to make this stuff mm -hmm. second or third uh -huh. time around. <laughs> well, let me try this uh, Danish paste, Terry. Uh huh. I'll take my glasses off so I don't have to. I fed that to somebody the last time I made it, and they almost had a hemorrhage. They thought it was supposed to be real sweet. And they mm -hmm. says, oh, it just tastes like cheese. Well, that's what it's supposed to be, ladies and gentlemen. Cheese Danish. If you want it to be sweet, then you'll have to throw powdered sugar on the outside mm -hmm. of it. Or maybe when you roll it out, if you rolled it out on powdered sugar, that would be you nice. You could do that, or you could add it to the cream cheese mm -hmm. mixture, and mm -hmm. you could even use some of those uh, artificial sugars. But sweetness. this is not a sweet Danish. This is just a, a cheese Danish, mm -hmm. in the true sense of the word. I have a real good bite, don't you, then? Mm-hmm. It's not just bad. perfect. Maybe we can Just figure out who murdered you. <laughs> no, we already know that. But anyway, mm. I'm telling mm. you, it's a nice little. Well, let me try this monkey ensemble. Well, I, I don't recall these raisins in it. Mm. I think they've been added. Mm -hmm. 
since they were done the last time. Oh, they're awfully good. Mm. How did she get that frosty look on it? Uh, she accidentally messed up. Oh. And it caused that frosty look. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to mess up. The monkey cake, you can't make good for diabetics because you got to have real sugar. you got to have the that. real stuff. But it, it's a nice thought. Mm, it's wonderful. Good stuff. Delicious. Great stuff. And so is the eggs golden rod. Well, it's all real good. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. Come back again next time. We'll do some more.